channel I do hope you're doing well so the old girl is another year older we have hit the big two six we are edging closer to the 30s than we are the 20s and I think the recurrent theme for maybe some alcohol in this year's birthday maybe to try and help me soften the blow so i done one of these last year if you didn't see it i'll leave it down there up above you know the drill and i thought why not carry on a tradition we love a good tradition on this channel i love watching these i love to be nosy and just see what people get because it gives me ideas to think oh maybe i want that birthday christmas you know the drill so i'm not going to rabbit on i don't know if you can see i've been trying to set this camera up but we do have a couple of balloons up there but i don't know if we're going to be able to get them in i might have to have a little bit of a rejig but yes get comfy and let's see what i got for my 26th birthday 2021 now i need to start adulting <laughs> right so i've moved it you can see one of my balloons the little one from mama g where do we start so i got bits and bobs from dada mama g b b's parents and then obviously I treated myself to a few little bits. I mean, if you can't treat yourself on your birthday, when can you? So, no particular order. Or actually, should I do it from bits and bobs? i tell you what. I'll start with the one that I can't tell you yet because it's the joint present with me and mum. So, I was on a waiting list for some tickets for a West End show. Been waiting and waiting. It was due to come out last year. got cancelled. I was on the pre-sale, I got that email, I secured my tickets and booked. So when I spoke to Dada, I said, what are you getting me and mum for birthdays? Like, just to get the gist of the idea, you know. And he said, oh, I don't know, he just told me a figure. And I was like, oh, I was like, I tell you what, I was like, do you want to go halves on a ticket for mum? So me and him can get that for her for her birthday in July. And then I'll use your money for my ticket. So he was like, yeah, no worries. So I said to mum, I was like, right. There's going to be something coming out on the credit card, but Dad's sorting it. Like, you haven't got worry. I said, I'll just give you, like, however much my bit was. And she was like, so what is it? So, the be or an end or, she knows it's a show. She knows it's January next year because I booked one of the last few ins because I thought, hopefully, fingers crossed, touch wood, by then, we might be in some form of normality. And also, it'd be quite nice to go to a show in winter. I love putting, like, my nice little coat on and getting all cosy. So, there is a present that... You will not see here, but you will find out when it's Mama G's birthday that we are actually going to see a West End show in London next January. So, yes, I am very, very excited for that. Right, let's try and get comfy because my hair's already annoying us and my eyelashes, they're new ones. You know what I'm like with them, don't you? <laughs> That's better. You're a lot more up close in person, aren't you, my love? Yes. So, let's start with the bits from B. So... B, you will see in the birthday vlog. I was very surprised that I got a card. He doesn't normally remember cards or do cards. He's not really a card person at all. But me, I love a good birthday card. Birthday card, Christmas card, Easter card, you name it, I love it. And an anniversary card. So, he said that he'd been getting some presents. And then he said he'd picked an experience day. Now, when he said that, I just, I got, I got a sick feeling, I'm not going to lie. Because I just thought, oh my god, what what has he booked? I was imagining him to book like paintballing, something like that, and not gonna lie, I was quite worried. When I asked him like the gist of it, he said, and quote, I've always wanted to do it, so I think you will too. And that was it. I was just like, and then he laughed. And it you know, it's that like laugh where you think, oh no, you're just like screwing me over here. So I was very, very worried. So I will leave that till last because I did get a little red envelope, but he made me open this last and he was so happy with himself and he done all right. So we'll kick off with one of the first presents I opened and it is a six pack of cozy socks. We've got blue, purple mocha and then there's a pink, I think that's like an orange and a yellow. So I'm very very happy with that you know me i love a good pair of cozy socks and when i opened these he was like well i like the pink and blue ones please so i was like hold on a minute so yes these will be actually i haven't even tested to see how cozy they are <gasps> oh i don't want to take them out because they're like freshly <gasps> he done good there with them as i say you know me i love anything cozy and cozy socks was just the job and then what did i oh 
So on Saturday night, he was like, do you want an early birthday present? And I was like, no, the only time I get early presents is like Christmas when we have our Christmas Eve box. And he was like, come on, he's like, I really want to give you a present early. And I was like, no, I was like, I weren't in the mentality to be celebrating birthday. And I still wasn't on the morning either because I was just like, I don't want to celebrate getting older. And I was like a proper negative Nelly. And he was like, oh, fine, leave it. And so when he gave this to me on Sunday morning, he was like, this is what I wanted you to open. I said, why? He was like, because I want to try it. So I was like, so basically you've bought me a drink for you for when you're around mine. But it is a bottle of my first bottle. Copperberg Gin Strawberry and Lime. You know me, I love a good gin and I love a good cider. So as I say, I haven't tried this and he was very keen to try it. But I wouldn't open it on the Saturday night. So yes, I cannot wait to crack that open. We might have a bit of that Monday. I mean, we can have a little drink Monday night. I know like we're back to work Tuesday, but... One's not going to hurt. So, yes, he got us a bottle of alcohol. I was like, thank you very much. And then, oh. So, this was what I saw when I opened it. Just a bubble wrapped glass. And it just said, say it with glass. And I did send him, like, a list of all little bits and bobs I'd seen. But I didn't think he would get this because he doesn't really like my cabinets or anything like that. So, he was just like, this can go in your cabinet. And I was like, okay. But I thought it summed me up quite well. And this is say I opened just after the gin. So kind of went hand in hand. And it is a little tumbler. Well, it's quite a large tumbler and it's engraved. I don't know if you can read it. It says, looks like a beauty, drinks like a beast. And I mean, if that don't just sum me up, I don't know what does. So yes, I was very comical when I opened that. I was like, ah. Oh. Because I thought it can go in my cabinet, but I think I will actually use that to drink out of. Because I don't know if I look like a beauty so much, but I do think I drink like a bit of a beast. Like, when I'm in my little moments, I can pack them away. And I think that's why I've got quite a selection of alcohol. But hey-ho, girls not complaining. What else? Again, these were on my list, so I was so happy that he picked these up. You know my love for Baby Yoda. He has a very, very special place in my heart. So when I saw these, I was like, yes, these are like my best. These are going to be my best, best socks. Look, <laughs> he got me some little baby Yoda socks. And it's like the proper little one. And I love that they was pink. Normally it's all green. So I love that they were pink. And then there's a running theme. He either buys me stuff, used to be Harry Potter or Disney. And now it's kind of like baby Yoda. And he picked me up some harry potter makeup brushes one year when was it last year for my birthday i think because we had that and then he bought me like a harry potter purse and he put the ticket in no it weren't last year oh my god it was the year before because we couldn't do anything last year so yeah so there's always like a theme he'd buy me either like harry potter or something to do with beauty and the beast and disney but now i have another love in my life of baby yoda he picked me up a baby yoda comb <laughs> I'm probably this is gonna go in like my best comb selection, but oh guys, just look at him. Let's give him a test out. Oh, it's got a nice bristle on it. Hair is a bit knotty at the moment. Oh, I love it. Oh, he's so cute. Even though I know, well, I'm not gonna be able to see because I leave for work before Brandon, but. I'm going to put this in like a set place and I can guarantee he will try using that for his work hairbrush. I'll be like, no, that's mine. So yes, got a little baby Yoda hairbrush. And then what else? What else? Where is Brandon? So on the theme of alcohol again, I have really wanted to try this brand for years and years. And I keep seeing the really big bottles in Tesco and they're starting to put them in the sale now, which is great because they're like, I think 26 or 28 pound a bottle but on your club card or when they're on offer you can sometimes pick them up for 20 quid but I didn't want to buy it in case I didn't like it so he was like I think this is the one you like I was like yes it is Brandon so he got me a Malfi or Malf Malfi Malfi I'm not quite sure how you say it a little mixture so we've got the original the lemon, the rose and the arancini uh, blood orange. The orange and the lemon are the ones that I am so excited to try. And they are all double measures. So great. You know me, your girl don't really go for a single. So a double is fab. 
and it tells you on the end so like your original one is just a homage to Jean the Malfoy con limon then a Malfi Jean Rosa oh I always thought that the Rosa one was actually like a rose gin it's not it's pink grapefruit and rhubarb oh I might actually like that one as well so I we oh god almost chucking it out there I will be very much looking forward to that and then I had this big bag and it obviously had something in it but I took it out and I was just like what is this I opened it up and then there was this pink thing in it and it was vacuum packed and I thought what on earth is that I completely forgot that I'd asked for this before and I was just like Brandon what have you bought me I was like what do you need oh my god the bottles are flying everywhere my lovelies ah! I was just like what have you bought me that needs to be rack packed like it was in all these like tassels and everything like that and he was like this was literally on your list and I was like I've got no idea what it was but he's bought me a is it a snoody oody oh my god and I tried this on when I got home <gasps> I think I'm gonna have to hide this because if Brandon puts this on and just feels how soft it is he's not gonna give it back so it may be that if he likes it, I can buy him one at Christmas, like maybe a nice blue one and we can have a matching his and hers. But yes, oh my God, this is so oversized, so comfortable and oh, I cannot wait to just be having many a weekend nights in that stuff in my face full of pizza, but I better not drop anything down it. Might have to like put a bib in that on because I don't want to be ruining that. But yes, so I was like, oh, okay then. So I'd opened all of them and then he went to get this out and he was like, just give me a hug now and tell me you love me. And I got really worried at that point because I thought, oh my God, he's booked me to like jump out of a plane or something. But I kept remembering he said it's something he's wanted to do. He would never do that. So he was like, there you go. And I had this little red envelope. So I was like, okie dokes, here we go. So I opened it and it says, have a great story to tell. And I was thinking, oh my God, oh my God, what is it? And I had this little message. I don't know if it's going to pick up on there. Shannon, happy birthday. Love you, Brandon. And we've actually got a three-course meal for two at a Gordon Ramsay restaurant. So as soon as I saw it, I was like, ah, food. Of course, if it's got to do with food, Brandon wants to do it. So we basically have until the 24th of May next year to book from one of his eight restaurants so best believe straight after that we were straight on the internet having a look at the restaurants having a look at the menus i think we've narrowed it down to two we just need to decide whether we want to go friday night after work maybe do like a half day at work give time to get ready or go down on a saturday and make a day of it do a bit of shopping go out and explore a little bit i thought we could possibly book it for december for our anniversary and then it said at the bottom on the t's and c's that if you booked november or december there was like some festive supplement so i was like well i don't want him to have to pay any more so i thought well maybe we might be able to go either september this year or october just after our holiday or maybe do it in like the new year maybe i said to him I might like give it an IOU and we can do it for your birthday. And he was like, hey, I was like, no, I'm only joking. So yeah, I don't know when that will be, but I'm very excited. And best believe when we do go out, I will be vlogging, even though you'll probably not see him because I say he was getting very agitated on the birthday morning when I got the camera out. So okie dokes. But even if it's a little vlog just on my phone, a bit of phone footage. Oh, uh, well, so yes. And I did get a card. All of my cards, I don't know if you can see are back there so i've got my cards on my calyx and let's move on to mama g next so mama g got a good little selection and when i was opening i was like you know when you try and think where they're from the only ones that i knew about from mama g was this you will remember me saying on our bank holiday vlog i done a big order with bottle club and I wanted some more booze, to be perfectly honest. And mum was like, I'm not going to buy you any more. What I'll do, out of the big selection that you've already bought, I'll just take a bottle or two from it. So I was like, okie dogs. So she chose out of that the passion fruit rum. Best believe I will be making my pina coladas. Getting lost in the rain. 
with this because I cannot wait to have that in my belly. And then she went for like a theme even on candles of alcohol. So I opened this up and guys, if you smell this, this is insane. So first off, lovely, lovely packaging and it says gin o'clock. Now we have a lot of like little homeware shops in our little village and I thought, ow, ow, I thought it was from one of them. And she said, no, I got it at the same place I got your balloons, which was card factory. So I highly recommend if you have a local card factory near you, go and have a look. So it's a nice, I love this, it's a nice frosted white jar and then it says gin o'clock, but my God, guys, that is potent i always remember they used to do their little ranges like you used to get daiquiri and mojito and gin and tonic but it just used to be like a little plain holographic like no not even holographic like a metallic packaging i thought that was really really cute so best believe if i got the candle she also got me the reed diffuser so i cannot wait once i give me room a spring clean to put this out and how big is this one it's 100 mil as well and it's just a nice little clear bottle with the gold ones and what color reeds do you have oh oak so they're just like a little woody one which i absolutely love and it lasts up to six weeks so i will be giving you the rundown because next time i go out to our local shopping center i will be popping into card factory and if they've got some other scents maybe a daiquiri I think they used to do strawberry or blueberry daiquiri. Oh, they will be going straight in my basket. Then she got another candle. And this, I believe, also was from Card Factory. These, I've seen like many variations of these before from Card Factory in their little gift range. This is a vanilla scented one. And it just clearly says on it, beautiful daughter. How cute is that, eh? Mm, I've got one still down there because what i like to do is when they're really nice um holders once i use them we like clean them out and then i can reuse them for either votives tea lights a little jar in there whatever so yes that will be another one that we can keep they're also great for your makeup brushes makeup brush holders are just fab and i mean can you have a birthday without getting birthday chocolate i don't know where she got this from i think these there's a couple of things here. I think she got these from one of the little homeware shops. So she just got me a little bar of milk chocolate with an S on because still can have a little bit of a treat, you know. And then people might think, oh my God, what is this? But if you know me, you know I have a love and a big, big love for skulls. So she saw this ceramic skull coaster and was just like, oh, she said, I saw it and I just thought, oh, you'd like that for like your Halloween or whatever. So I was like, thank you very much. Yes, if you didn't know, I have quite a skull obsession. I have a lot from when I travelled in Mexico, Cuba, and then I went back to Mexico. We went River Maya the second time. And then I've got like big crystal skulls. The majority of them yeah, are all in my cabinets now. I used to have a few out and about, but I was just worried that they might break. So Yes, I say, I might do when I do my next little room tour, I'll focus in a bit more. But if you haven't seen them, they're always on my lifestyle Instagram, which is down in the description below. But yes, a lot of them are from my travels and I just totally dig that whole thing of skull vibes. People may think that's an unpopular opinion, but I love a good little skull. And then, so I'll show you the little pieces that come with it. She did get me a couple of fragrances bless her even though she says that i didn't need any more this was i think they're like the little free gifts that come with them so the first one can you tell what it is we've got a little moschino bear <gasps> and that oh my god when i saw this i was just like eh! so excited and yes my lovely so if we've got the little freebie you only get the freebie if you buy it she got me the new Moschino. You know me. I love the Moschino toy ranges. I've got the original one. I got a 50 mil, I think, on my first one. And then I found out that they've done 100. So I gave mum the 50 and I got the 100. I bought Brandon the male one. And yes, I was just like, as soon as I saw this, I was like, oh my God, I need this in my life. How beautiful. Oh! <gasps> Oh my god, guys, this is definitely not a handbag purse. Unless I've got a really big handbag. It could work in the Primark one, but guys, just look. 
Look at her. Oh my god. We'll give her one spritz because this is strong. You will only need a few little squirts of it. When we went out and I tried to test her, I was like, whoo! It is very sickly. If you don't have a sweet tooth, I don't think you'd like this, but oh, it's like a citrus bubble gum, and I'm sorry, but that is a bit of me, and I absolutely love it. Best believe when I go back to work on Tuesday, I'm going to be rocking up with that. They'll probably be like, Shan, I'll be like, it's me. Oh, my throat. <coughs> I think I might have inhaled a bit too much of that. So it is very strong, my lovelies. And then there was a couple of freebies with the next one. So I'll show you this one first. I didn't know what this was. And then when I opened it, I was like, fan dabby dozy. So it's kind of like a little makeup patch or a little afternoon bag. You could have it as a clutch bag, anything you want. And inside there was just two angel muglers. What do we got? A perfuming body lotion and a shower gel. You know what? I don't know about you, but I love the little freebies that you get with perfumes. Sometimes I think they're better than the perfumes. I absolutely adore them. So we got like a little makeup bag there, which I thought was so bougie because it even comes with like a pouch for the makeup bag and then you get the mini. And as soon as I saw this, I knew the big one was going to be in there, but it is the new Thierry Mugler Angel Nova. Oh my god, I only have one Thierry Mugler perfume because it's quite heavy, like proper angel is like opium poison vibes, heavy, heavy. I can't be dealing with that. I've got Thierry Mugler Citrus Cess, absolutely love that. But when I smelled this many, many moons ago, I was like, oh, I like that. It's nice and fresh, still a bit heavy, but not too. It's not going to be like... <gasps> on that you know and then oh, oh what's this a qr code become a circle member oh i'll be having a look at that and then oh have you seen a more beautiful bottle this and my new pink bear are going to look absolutely fab on my dresser and you know what let's give it a little spritz <gasps> yes. Well, it smells different to what I remember. It's definitely like an adult's perfume, but it's still got that sweet, little sweet, fruity scent. Oh, my God, now I can't get it in the box. You know, it's one of them awkward shaped ones. I'm just like, how do I get it in? Oh, no. Shannon Lee. Oh, there we go. So, yes, when I saw that, I was like... Because I've been wanting, as I say, especially this. This has been out, I think, since the beginning of the year. And as soon as I saw it and smelt it, I was like, I need that in my life. So, yes, I was very, very happy. And I just love the box. See, it's glittery. It's just, oh, fabulous. And then she got me another candle. I, I was like, Mum, you mind me for having all these candles. And then you're buying me plenty. She was like, oh, well, I saw this and I thought you'd like it. This actually was on my list. I saw it in Tesco's one day when I was on lunch. And I was like, Mum, if you find a candle you want to get me, it's got to be this one. It is the Yankee Candle Mango Lemonade. Oh, my God, my lovelies. Not only does it just scream summer and spring by the colour of it, but it smells delicious so yes i would highly highly recommend i think she said that tesco are doing like certain candle flavors of the month so you might be able to pick that up they're normally 14 pounds which i don't think is too bad for a large yankee but i think on special you can get it for like nine or ten quid but yes this one however i did know that i was getting i saw this online and i said to her that i got this probably a couple of months ago and i was like mom she said what i was like i've seen something can I get it for my birthday? She was like, okie dokes. And my lovelies. I have a red one and a black one. And oh, I just love them. But when I saw this bottle green. Oh, so it is a emerald bottle green Vivian Westwood scarf. 
and now you're probably going to think why do you need that why would you want that the red and the black oh my god no i've got red black and i've got a cream one i've got three of them oopsie so that's all right i've got like my two neutral colors and then i've got my two bold colors now but they are honestly the warmest they may not look it but they are the warmest scarf they're lightweight so you don't have like the whole thing of like two or three layers around your neck like a shawl they go with so many outfits and not gonna lie you know dada bought me the bottle green ted baker coat at christmas i thought this would go perfectly with it in the winter so yes this one i did know about and as i say but i was like please and she was like yeah you can get it because as we all know mama g doesn't do like online stuff so when i saw that i knew that she would have no idea it was on there and it was on a bargain in selfridges it was 85 pound and i picked it up from a website country attire and it was down to 50 i was like <laughs> saving yourself some money there as well mama so yes that was the bits from mama g and then as i say dada he bought me well that flopped didn't it dada bought me the ticket which i can't show you and he did put some money in the card because he's not very like he won't go out shopping like mum went out and got some bits and bobs clearly but he just doesn't go away. He's like, just take the money and just get what you want. So I was like, okie dokes. And then Brandon's parents, everyone must know they love a good drink. They picked me up a zesty and vibrant passion fruit, mango and lime flavoured gin. Limited edition, 40%. This looks right up my street, my lovelies. Look at that. And it's from the co-op. So go down to your local co-op and pick this up if you see it. I cannot wait to have this with a few tonics. Oh, love it. It says the tropical notes of passion fruit and mango balance perfectly with the citrus notes of lime, which may remind you of a popular martini cocktail. I'm going to be having mine with tonic, plain and simple. But yes, I am very thankful for another bottle of gin. And it's one that I haven't tried. So... I love trying new flavours of gins and bits and bobs because I think spice up your alcohol life, you know. But, yes, yeah, so I have one, two, and there's another bottle behind. Oh, as you know, I've got one, two, three. I've got three big bottles, four minis, and then another bottle behind. And let's show you that one, shall we? <laughs> so I got a little bit of money off some other family members, and I thought, you know what? So I can say that I've got something with it. I had this from my bottle club order, and I thought, you know what? I'm going to use that money for this. So this was off one of our family members. And it is the Bailey's Limited Edition Collada. Oh, no, Canon. There we go. Bailey's Collada. And it tells you, you can just have it over ice, blend it, or put it over ice cream. Bailey's over ice cream? I don't mind if I do. Oh, sorry about that. My leg just got really bad cramp. So, yes, yeah, so I thought, you know what? I can say, well, this is what I got with your present. More alcohol, but cannot wait to try that. And then your girl treated herself. I saw a few bits in a sale coming up. Uh, when did I order them? A couple of weeks ago, I think now. And I thought, no, you know what? I'm going to treat myself for my birthday. So, we had some House of Fraser vouchers. So, you know, I've been running low on this. I've been banging on about it for ages. I picked up another Charlotte Tilbury airbrush what is it airbrush flawless finish powder and i get mine in fair because as we all know your girl is like casper so oh i can't wait to use her because look she's all fresh i have literally hit pan on mine but you know where it's like it gets that awkward bit where your pad is just around the edges? I'm still going to keep it and then I can use it just for like maybe putting under my eyes for the concealer. So that weren't too bad because that didn't cost me nothing. Nil point with my voucher. And then I've been eyeing up a few bits on Misguided for ages because I absolutely love <laughs> a few bits, she says. I absolutely love that Playboy range. I have had a playboy love for years and years i was in that era growing up everyone had the big playboy cushion everyone had like the playboy track suits the playboy little posters on the wall i absolutely love the playboy and i don't think i've ever really grown out of it so when i see that misguided do edits and like collabs i'm like oh, 
and I haven't ever bought myself anything of there because not gonna lie it is quite pricey it can sometimes be like 40 45 pound for a dress or anything like that and I'm like don't really want to be spending that to be perfectly honest but I had an email through with a birthday code and they also had I think it was like 30 or 40 percent off on this particular range and I thought you know what your girl's gonna treat herself so treat herself she did so the first thing I picked up, oh, I have bought the majority of this in a size medium because I like my stuff oversized. I think a couple of things are small, but I'll let you know. So this was a medium and this is the Playboy tie-dye oversized hoodie dress. Oh my God. This is, I tried it on the other night. Ah, let's not get makeup on it. I love it absolutely love it and i'm sure you will see me in it very soon whether that be filming on vlogs day outs because it is a nice length like you can get away with having it as a dress i think i might still wear cycle shorts with it just to be on the safe side but yes loved that and i just love the whole tie-dye color and also something like that with cycling shorts oh god i've got a bit of fluff on it gives me total like airport vibes i'm still holding out that we're gonna get on a plane this year so Yes, I kind of had like airport vibes in my mind when I bought these. The next thing I got, what size did I get this? This was a medium also, and this is an oversized just a t-shirt dress. But I went with the grey charcoal tie-dye design this time. Now this, I'm not going to lie, is huge. But I kind of like it because if I want to be really cash, I literally just put it on with some Converse and off I go. Or, because of the colour of it, I could just put a nice black belt, cinch it in a bit, put some Doc Martens on and shush it up. So, yes, very happy with that that I managed to pick up. And then, oh, I think this might be one of my favourites. This is completely out of, like, my comfort zone. So, this I picked up in a size 8. Why did I get a size 8? Oh, because it's, like, an extreme oversize. I was thinking a minute. Hang on, girl. You ain't an eight. So, this is the Playboy Varsity three-quarter zip dresses oversize. And when I read the reviews, it said, like, yeah, it's really massive. So, it's quite different for me. So, it's got the high zip neck. And then it's just basically a long, like, not velour, but it's that really soft material. Ow. And it just has the green bunny so i love this because i thought green emerald is my birthstone we can go with it but guys it's the back that sold it to me and once again this is a perfect length i can get away with this without cycling shorts i mean i could wear them if i wanted to but the inside as well oh my god it's, you know that like fleecy material oh <gasps> so soft and i love this is another thing on the zip the little bunny oh i just love it all i could have got a lot more carried away because i think it was majority like the whole section was in the sale but i just got the bits that i'd had my eye on for a while and i say i didn't really look at that varsity dress but then when i saw it on the model i thought oh maybe i could you know style that and glad that i did we're sticking with the rainbow tie-dye that was my main thing my lovelies so i picked this up in a small because they said like it was an extreme oversized fit so I just picked up the tie-dye Playboy t-shirt. Nothing more to say about that. And that is such a nice, like, relaxed fit. So it's not cropped. But I did, when I tried it, like, fold it under my bra and have it as a bit of, like, a cropped balloon-style t-shirt. And it looked fab. And then I also picked up... This I got in a medium because I like... With tracksuits, so it's giving away what the next bit is. I like my bottoms to be fitted and then a really oversized top. So we've got the t-shirt for if it's a bit warmer. But I picked up a medium sweatshirt. Now it does look huge and it is huge. But you know what? Because it is so huge, I can kind of get away with this with cycling shorts. So I've kind of got like a dress out of it as well. So my tops I have baggier. And then the bottoms I picked up in a small and they are, oh, guys, they're just, I love them. I just love all the colour, everything. And even this with the sweatshirt, I was thinking could be like a good airport vibe. Actually, any of them. The t-shirt dresses I could wear with cycling shorts or leggings. The tops are on their own. This I could wear. I could maybe go to the airport in this with the hoodie and then change into the t-shirt when we get there. I just loved it. Loved it, loved it all. And then, oh. Oh, I'm getting cramped. I do apologise, my lovelies. 
I picked these up off of ASOS. Now, I don't know how you say this brand. Collusion? 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 And you're probably going to think when I hold them up, ill. Because when I showed mum, she was like, it's a bit bright shade. But I think this brand is a unisex brand, so men and women. So I picked these up in a size 10, but you're probably thinking, why on earth have you got these? I love, right, elasticated waistband, love. You've got the little collusion label there, but that's such a nice length at the back. I could use these to go running in. I could go to the shops in these. I could actually just go to work in them. Like, they are so versatile, and I just love the length of them. Like, I'm not going to have any bum cheeks showing. And these, I think, were £12. That was full price in ASOS, which I thought was not too bad. So I thought I'd give that a go, because I'm not going to lie, I did see a lot of things from that collusion that I did actually really like. And there was a few shirts, and I saw them, and I saw, like, the man and the woman, and I was like, oh! <gasps> me and B but I think he would actually kill me if I bought him something and then I rocked up wearing it too like I don't think actually no he might wear them I'd have to try and when he next comes around and I wear them I might be like do you like my shorts and it'll either be yeah or Ugh, no they're way too bright so I was like okie dokes and then footwear as we all know I really really wanted the new Vivian Westwood bag but that's kind of gone on a back burner at the moment because it's not, well, I can't justify it. It's a lot for me to spend, especially when I haven't bought bags for so long. So I'm still keeping an eye on it. And when I get the notification that the stock's almost gone, I will take the plunge. But I'm hoping I'm going to treat myself to that maybe around Christmas time. It's kind of like a belated birthday, Christmas, birthday last year. Just like a COVID present, I think, for like working through it all and being like, you need a little bit of a treat. So I thought, you know what, if I'm not getting myself a bag, I get myself some shoes. I did see quite a few pairs of shoes, I'm not going to lie, and they was quite expensive. I don't know what it is. I just see things now, and I'm kind of going back to the old Shannon mentality, and that's not good because I saw a pair of sandals by Chloe, I think they are. Oh my god, they were so cute, but they was 300 quid. And I was just like, "Oh yeah, that's fine." And mum was like, "No, no, 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 no." No. I was like, "Oh, Okay, so I need to try and, like, rein it back in. I think since the shop's open, I've gone a little bit wild. I'm like, woo, yeah. And it's like, no, you really need to calm yourself now, Shan. So I thought, you know what? Because we're going, like, quite cash and, well, apart from the varsity dress, very relaxed vibes. I am not really a trainer person. You will probably very rarely ever see me in trainers. Maybe, like, my Converse or my Vans, and that's about it. But. When I was going through my shoe collection the other day, which I might actually do a shoe collection as well as a handbag, I found two pairs of trainers that used to be like my go-to trainers. Comfy, they went with everything, and they were the Puma suede. So I had them in black, classic, and the navy blue, and Dada has the same. We've got matching pairs. Yes, don't ask why. I don't know what it was. I just thought, let's get matching, because I actually bought one for him for Christmas. And when I bought my pair, so yes, many, many moons ago, but they are such a classic. And I got them out and I tried them on and I thought, oh, I'll keep them down because I can wear them to work, like get the use out of them. And then I was just on ASOS when I was getting the shorts and I was like, hold on, they still do this brand? Like I thought Puma Sways would have been way out of fashion, but no, I have got, oh, I didn't even realise that as well. So you get two laces. I might actually change the laces because... My black ones I've got white. My navy I've got white. I think the white could look quite nice with this. I picked up another pair of Puma suede, but in red. And I know they're probably not going to be to everyone's cup of tea, but I'm not, as I say, I'm not into, like, these fashion trainers and all of this jazz, and I couldn't justify paying, like, 100 120 pounds for trainers because they're just not my thing. Like, tell me to pay £100 for a pair of Timberlands or Doc Martens, and I'm like, yeah, no worries. But trainers, they're not really my thing. So when I saw them, and I think they was down to 45 on ASOS. If they're still in the sale, I'll link them down below. I thought, you know what, I'm going to treat myself to them. I did, however, and this is where it gets bad. I saw a burgundy pair, but they didn't have my size. And I saw like a mustard yellowy pair. They didn't have my size, luckily, because I think I probably would have ended up getting them all. But yes, I am definitely going to try it. Now we're coming into like the summer months. 
instead of wearing my bits with dot mines i do want to try and get my trainers out because i have quite a few pairs like i've got four pairs of vans vans i don't really class as trainers vans and converse to me they're just like shoes but actual trainers i've got i've got my two pumas i've got a khaki very similar style to the puma suede i've got a khaki pair from shka shoe however you pronounce it years ago they're good and then i've got two adidas what are my adidas's no idea and i've got a calvin klein pair i think they're high tops so yeah i do actually have a few pairs of trainers but i just don't wear them i think when i get like my own home i want all of my shoes because i keep them in the boxes you see that's the thing and all of my ones on the top unless i can be bothered to step on my step ladder i don't really tend to go for much so i think i need to like have a shoes around or when i get my own place i want everything out of the boxes and i want like a wardrobe purely for shoes so that i can actually get to them and use them but yes yeah, so that was what i treated myself to a few new little clothes in essence a free charlotte tilbury powder because i had a voucher and some new little kicks kicks god who does she think she is eh and when I went into work on Tuesday, my girl at work also got me a lovely card and some gifts. I got a rose scented body shop little collection in a cute little makeup bag, which come on, your girl loves her storage. And these grey fluffy socks, which look normal from the front. And on the bottom, it says, if you can read this, bring me the gin. You know, you're going to be seeing them in the vlogs, my lovelies. So keep your eyes peeled and thank you to my girl. Mwah! So, my lovelies, that is what I got for my birthday this year. And my room. You can tell I've sprayed that. I've done one tiny little squirt and it's smelling the whole room out now. So yes, I am extremely grateful for all of this. And once again, I know I don't need to say it to you, but just in case you're new here and you don't quite know my vibe, I'm not bragging, I'm not showing off. I'm purely doing this because I'm nosy and I like to see what people get for their birthdays. And I share everything with you. I'm sharing my birthday with you. That vlog will be coming Sunday. So you'll be seeing this and it'll be coming the following Sunday and yeah there's no like pretenses here what you see is what you get and yes i did like to treat myself people must think i'm a raging alcoholic for the amount of booze that i got but hey ho i want to show you what i got as i say because especially like the experience days this is actually a really good thing and as i say i did say to be like you did do good on that i'm not gonna lie i had heart palpitations and everything in the lead up to it but you done really good so if there is anything and you don't know what to get anyone get them like a gift day out or i was actually looking on here when we come back and i've seen a few like really really nice afternoon teas so that could be something i might look for me and mama g to do it was funny when he opened this and i said you only got this because you want to go and he was like well you can go with your mum if you want to i was like i'm joking we'll go together so yes i am extremely grateful happy lucky cannot wait to crack open those bits of booze cannot wait to have my bath and get in my nice new snooty hoodie and yes another year has gone my lovelies i'm another year older but i don't think i'm any wiser if you did enjoy the video you know what to do guys hit that thumbs up and subscribe down below leave me a comment as i say of your favorite bit do you have a birthday in may or early june coming up let me know let me know what your favorite bit was have any of you tried this collusion brand have any of you tried the two perfumes, Angel Nova and Machine Bubblegum Edition? Misguided, is anyone a fan of the Playboy range? What is your go-to pair of trainers? Let me know, as I say, because trainers are comfy. Like, I'm not about heels anymore. When I changed my wardrobe, all the heels went under the bed because I just don't reach for them unless I'm on holiday or when we go out for that nice little meal on my dresser. But yes, plenty of candles. And I think probably one of my most favourite presents. It's going to have to be something. I think the Baby Yoda socks. That's what I mean. It doesn't take a lot to please me. I'm very like, what you see is what you get. A simple pair of socks. And I love the glass. The um, looks like a beauty, drinks like a beast. Because it has Disney themes and it relates to me. So yes, I'm going to stop rabbit in and let you get on with your day, my lovelies. But if not... Take care, stay safe as always, and I'll see you in the next one.